Hello and welcome to Hank Games Out. Hank, my name is John Green. I'm the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys. Today taking on Brighton and Hove Albion. Great club uh, with a great history and a great culture. Nothing bad to say about Brighton or Hove or Albions. Um, today we're going to talk about my YA boyfriend. Is that right, Meredith? I'm going to take a quiz today. Where's this quiz from? BuzzFeed. It's from Trey Sugar, as in very sugar. Wouldn't that be Trey Sucre? I don't want to. I don't want to brag about how much high school French I had, but anyway, I don't like to criticize website names. Anyway, we're going to find out who my YA boyfriend is going to be from uh, YA novels, um, young adult novels. Um, I write them. I love them, and uh, we're going to find out who my YA boyfriend is. But first, let me give you a quick update. Uh, AFC Wimbledon in ninth place, as you can see, um, and uh, as you can also see, no John Green or John Green on the bench or in the starting 11 because John Green and John Green went directly from the last game to an airplane and flew Air Ethiopia direct from London to Addis Ababa, and this is very exciting. So it should be uh, three games that they're away, maybe just two games. Uh, we don't know yet, uh, but they are off, and hopefully coming back home with their baby, their beautiful baby girl. I saw pictures yesterday. It was very exciting. Sorry, I get my cute voice when I get to thinking about John Green and John Green's baby. This is something they've wanted for a long time, and I'm very excited for them. It's a little bit like blue on blue action today, um, but everything's going to be fine. I don't know why you guys are worried. All right, Meredith, what's my first question? What quality do I look for in a significant other? Oh, I look for goals. I definitely look for the quality of Houdini goals. Oh. Good. I don't even, I, I, what, hmm, 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 Houdini, Houdini songs. You know, I was just thinking that a good one for him would be, um, uh, I don't know. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. I don't know. I still don't, anyway, we need a better Houdini song. But for now, just, we'll just go, who? Dini. Great job, Dini. Somebody, uh, by the way, he was out late last night, and, uh, uh, but, you know, Dini, he's such a professional. He's such a professional. He doesn't, he doesn't let it get to him, even when he's had maybe a little bit too much to drink the night before. Do you know any professionals like that, Meredith? No, me neither. Um, so what, is the, uh, what was my question? What, what qualities do I look for in a guy? Um, sense of humor. Uh, I mean, definitely, you know, it's, I've got to be physically attracted to someone to date them. But, like, um, mostly – and I, I, someone who's really, really smart, uh, blisteringly smart, uh, witty, kind of maybe even a little caustic, uh, if, you know, if you know what I mean. Speaking of knowing what I mean, oh, Dicko! Dicko, Dicko, Dicko! A Wimbly Wombly scored a goal and Dicko was his name. Oh, D-I-C-K-O, 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 and Dicko was his name. Oh, for full points, by the way, to Houdini for giving up a surefire goal because there was a slightly better chance that Dicko was going to score in that situation. Really good stuff from Houdini. That's the kind of selflessness we look for in the Wimbley Wombleys. And suddenly, 2-0 against Brighton and Hove Albion in just the 15th minute. Domination recently from our friends, the Wimbley Wombleys. Don't you think, Meredith? I mean, this has been incredible. So did that answer your question? All right. What, uh, what else? What, what would my guy wear? Um, I like, I like uh, just sort of like a... A t-shirt, a really comfortable cotton t-shirt when I'm like, so that when like my face is pressed against his upper, lower shoulder, upper chest region, you know that right here? What is that called? Right here. Under the collarbone? Right under the collarbone? You know what that is? Huh? No, upper pec. Like, but I feel like when you put your head right on the pec, it's kind of weird. Don't you? It's like too pillowy. No? For me it is. Um, so whatever that is, right below the collarbone, that's where I like to be. Um, anyway, yeah, and a nice, comfortable cotton T-shirt. Nothing like, uh, is this about, what, what, what are my options? Is a comfortable cotton T-shirt on there? Yeah, that picture of a T-shirt. Yeah, that more than a hoodie, although I like a good hoodie. But I don't know. I'm old now, man. I, I'd, I'd prefer T-shirts to hoodies, I think. Um, I'd want, I'd, I'd want my, my ideal YA boyfriend would be in his mid-30s. So I don't know if that's going to affect th things. All right, what's next? What was I like in high school? I was pretty nerdy. Um, but, you know, not like, I don't know. I don't buy the sort of like uh, simple, simple clicks thing. Like I wasn't, I wasn't simply a nerd. 
Um, and I wasn't simply in a nerdy click or anything. That's a great, great opportunity to pass to Dicko. Oh, but it doesn't come through. Um, I wasn't simply nerdy. I was sort of like nerdy but happy, I guess, by, at least by my junior or senior year. Is that, is, that, is that a reasonable? You got one of those? All right. What's next? Favorite quote. Well, you've got to tell me what the quotes are. Are any of them um, my faults or stars I cannot fathom into constellations? No. Are any of them okay, okay? Is it anything that I wrote? No, there's nothing I wrote. That's, that's a stinger. <laughs> now I look like a narcissist. Um, okay, well, based on what you know about me, what are my likely favorites? Oh, the fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves. I basically wrote that. I mean, Shakespeare technically wrote it, but I repurposed it. Um, I don't like that quote, though, because I think the fault, dear Brutus, is precisely in our stars, although not in the case of Cassius and, uh, and uh, uh, Brutus, but, like, you know, in the case of most of us, there's tons of fault in the stars. Anyway, I think that's a... I don't want to criticize Trey Shukra, but I don't think that's a good quote if you're trying to... Trying to connect to the fault in our stars. I don't think that's a good quote. Anyway, wh what else would I like? Oh, the Gatsby quote? Very much so, yes. We beat on boats against the current. Um, ceaselessly born into the past or something? Is that what it was? Born back ceaselessly into the past. God, it's good. No, ceaselessly. Ceaselessly is such a good word. Like, it just, it, it sounds right. You know, it sounds ceaselessly. Um, there's some words like that that, uh, that Fitzgerald uses that are, 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 like, almost fit a meter. Um, almost fit like a jazz era meter, like he invented that the the, the sound of the, the literary sound of the jazz age. Like uh, just just when you read it out loud, in my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice I've been mulling over ever since, or whatever. Like it's just um, turning over in my mind ever since. Turning, it's even stronger than mulling. Turning, turning. O anyway, it's really good. He's really he's much better than I am. I would like to be him when I grow up. Um, but I won't be. What's next, Meredith? Now I'm feeling sad about what a shitty writer I am. Oh, I cursed! Frick! Uh, no, don't believe it. It's fine. People should know. People should know. All right, what's next? What? 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 Halftime? Oh, halftime. Okay. I always score two easy goals, and then it gets difficult. What? What's up? I'm being followed by someone who wishes me harm. What does he do? Well, there's a lot of things that he could do if he wants to harm me. He could. Oh, what does my ideal guy do when someone is wishing to harm me? I was like, oh, I mean, gosh, there are lots of ways that you could make me scared and miserable. I don't know. Um, <laughs> my ideal guy wouldn't do any of that weird stuff. Gosh, I'm so cursy today. Oh, I apologize to the young fans of the Wimbly Womblies. Oh, that was a nice ball. Oh, my goodness. And look at Dicko. Dicko's on a run. Dicko, 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 Dicko. No. No. Offside. No, oh, I didn't pass it to Dicko in time. Look, he's trying to hold up his run, Meredith. He's desperately trying. But I just, I, I, I needed to pass. I needed to pass first time to him. Oh, that's devastating. What, um... I mean, I don't really believe in, like, physical altercations. I think that um, this person would just make it clear. First off, in an ideal world, this person would allow me to uh, take care of myself instead of, like, furthering this idea that, um, that uh, you know, women need, need men to protect them or whatever. But, um, no, I think that uh, he would slay with words. Is that an option? Yeah, I'm a big believer in slaying with words when possible. Oh, uh, Dicko's upset because he knows he should have had a goal there. And then Deanie just, um, he just apparated. Uh, okay, what's the next question? H house, apartment, beach house. Well, I love a good, I love a good beach house. Um, are any of these people wealthy? Because I like wealth. Uh, castle, no. Not a castle. Oh! oh, oh! Who? Deanie! Who? Deanie! Oh, it was beautiful. What a pass. What? I mean, this is just, God, the football right now just makes me love being alive. Look at that one time from Houdini. Oh, they're just giving us a little bit too much space, the, ha the Hove Albions. Oh, man, this is fun. I love football. Sometimes, man, sometimes this game makes me so happy that even though I'm recovering from meningitis, I just want to play it all the time. 
Um, but then I get a headache and I stop. All right. Um, I'm going to say Beach House or something like that. Oh, no. Off the post. No worries. Um, does Beach House work? I love a good Beach House. Man, I wonder who my, my YA boyfriend is because I think I've answered a different YA boyfriend for each possible answer. How does my guy usually handle jealousy? Uh, calmly and without being a douche about it. Is that an option? He has bigger things to worry about. Not really that. I mean, I want, I don't, like, I don't know. I don't want jealousy in and of itself to really be a thing. Like, there's a reason to be jealous. It's one thing. But I feel like uh, jealousy often sort of masks weird, bad, abusive behavior. Don't you? No? You don't know. Oh, I gave up a goal because I was looking at you because we were talking about jealousy. I blame you for this, Meredith. You get really jealous of boys? Like talking to other boys and girls? Oh, wow. See, I don't, I never got really, I was never a jealous type. I always thought it was, I always, I mean, you know, like what's, what's the point if you can't, I mean, I don't know. If it's, if it's, to me, like jealousy is, jealousy is only indicative of a problem if there is an actual problem. And if there is an actual problem, then like, that's something you need to discuss with your partner openly. Anyway, yeah, I guess he has bigger things to worry about. Oh, he doesn't really get jealous. Yeah, that's even better. In a perfect world, he wouldn't even really get jealous. Choose a classic novel. Okay, what are my options? To Kill a Mockingbird, great book. Catcher in the Rye. Okay, Hobbit. Wuthering Heights. Catch-22. Many of my favorite books. It's between Catch-22, uh, Wuthering Heights, Catcher in the Rye, and To Kill a Mockingbird. I'm going to say those are my top four. Do I have to get it down to one? All right, I'm going to say, oh, uh, I'm going to say Catcher in the Rye. Come on, Deanie. Oh, he's just not quite fast enough. He's a little tired. It's just, he's like, man, I've scored so much, and we're not playing for anything. We've already won the freaking game. What do you want me to do, Green? And I'm like, I want you to run, Deanie. I know you got drunk last night. What? What's next? My favorite class in high school? Probably English literature. Is that an option? Yeah, that was my favorite. Um... They've got a nice sponsorship from American Express, these guys. Um, all right, we're going to keep Deanie and Dicko in because we don't really have anybody to substitute out. But, like, look how, look how tired the central of midfield is. So we're going to bring on Kaz, as we like to do. And um, we're going to bring on the Golden Child. And then I think we're going to bring on one uh, defender. We're going to take off Rocker and bring on Girls Just Want to Have Fundings Rude and make all three substitutions at once, just like the pros do. Um... Rocker, don't be annoyed. You had a great game. You've got a great haircut. Very handsome. Nicely, nicely put together. Um, Deanie's, Deanie's very good looking, too, but right now you can only see the back of his ears. Uh, what's, what, what was the question? Oh, you know my YA boyfriend. Okay, am I going to be excited or am I going to be disappointed? I'm going to like it. Is it someone I know for sure? Are you positive? How do, are, are, you, like, are you sure this is a YA book I've read? Okay, what is it? Charlie from Perks of Being a Wallflower. I love my YA boyfriend. That's a great YA boyfriend. I couldn't be happier. I would totally, I mean, 35-year-old Charlie from Perks of Being a Wallflower, I would date in a second. That's a great YA boy. I'm delighted. You're totally right. I'm so happy. Who were my other options, I wonder? Can I find out who the other YA boyfriends were? Peta. I like PETA, too. I wouldn't have been bummed out if PETA had been my YA boyfriend. Edward Cullen, that would have upset me a little bit. Augustus? My Augustus? I didn't get my own freaking book, boy? Uh, Augustus. And then uh, two guys. That's, that's, uh, that's four from um, Divergent. Um, who's a nice... I, I would be happy with him as, bo as my boyfriend. Um... There's really, yeah, I'm glad. And then, and then, but not, I'm interested that Gail didn't make an appearance from, from, Twi uh, from Twilight, from the Hunger Games. I feel like Gail, Gail, you know, pre-last Mockingjay book, uh, Gail got a lot of love, and he deserved it. I, I liked that Gail. I was always on Team Peter, but I liked Gail. Anyway, Charlie from The Perks of Being a Wallflower is my YA boyfriend, and your AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies have emerged victorious thanks to goals from Dicko. And who? Deanie. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.